Hello and welcome to the Kerrville Daily Times Sports Buzz. I'm sports editor Joe Harrington. With me, as always, the native New Yorker, Dennis O'Brien. Rocking that New York Yankees oh, cap. I never take this thing off. Ah, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> they might make the playoffs. Who knows? I think they're going to make the playoffs, Joe. Well, the Yankees might make the playoffs, but you know who has to win District 28-4A to make the playoffs? Tyvee football. Tyvee. They don't have to win at all. They just got to finish in the top four. That's what we're talking. District 28-4A football. Tyvee starts it this week against those Coyotes. Those wily Coyotes down there at Uvalde. Should be a good matchup, Dennis. Yeah, Joe, you know, Tyvee's coming off a couple of tough losses against a couple of state championship programs. How do they rebound this week going into district against Uvalde? Well, first of all, you got to remember, they're not playing those state champions this week. <laughs> that, that's the first thing. I don't think any coach in the country is going to be too mad that, you know, you will go 0-2 against two very good football teams. I mean, one, Steele hasn't lost a game since, you know, Tyvee beat him, I think, last year. And, of course, Lake Travis won the state title, uh, I don't know, this year, last year, the year before, the year before that. Um, so not playing those teams, I think, is a big thing. But plus, I mean, this is a rivalry game. These two schools traditionally don't like each other. It goes back to playoff matches with We Are the Champions playing. Uh, Mark Smith still remembers that, so I remember him telling me that last year. Uh, you got a lot of, uh, I don't want to say bad blood, but you got a lot of competition there between those two schools. Might be because both of them are, you know, annoyed that they have to drive two hours to play <laughs> each other. They've got themselves a pretty good player at quarterback in Corey Raley, and uh, it should be a good matchup for Tyvee. Get off that snide and get back in the win call. What does Tyvee have to do to reverse some of their fortunes um, on offense? I mean, they struggled against and Slate Travis last week. They struggled. I mean, their offense was great against Steele. Uh, you know, what do you think is the difference? What is going to be the difference tomorrow night? Well, first of all, I think I think that they did really good against Steele. You know, they played very well against a 5A school with a lot of speed. Against Lake Travis, they played probably the best offense in the state of Texas. It's kind of hard to argue which one's better, but I think Lake Travis proved they're one of the best teams in the country at the high school level, which is saying a lot. The defense is going to get a lot better this week because they're not facing speed and size of those two schools. They're also facing a Uvalde team that has given up a lot of points this year. They lost to 3A Hondo, which Comfort coach Chip Mayfield can attest to that they're they're a pretty good team. Pretty strong for they, team. They've they've scrimmaged a few times, um, so that's that's probably the big thing. Uh, is it's a little bit different of a team. I mean, Uvalde's just got a new coach this year. Their old coach went down to Corpus Christi. They've lost some players on defense to graduation, um, so they're kind of rebuilding. I see that team as one of the the three four playoff spot. I mean, they very very well could finish second. I think it'll take it a lot, take them a lot of work to win the district, but uh, they're, they're definitely a borderline <coughs> playoff team, if not a playoff team. <laughs> well, I think Tyvee right now has got to be kind of the favorite. I mean, they've played the most difficult schedule out of that whole district. They started 2-0. They do have a win over Madison in week two. Uh, you look at some of the other ones, Bernie Champions 500, we're not really sure how good they're going to be. They've lost badly a few times this year. Um, the San Antonio schools, Brennan, second-year programs, actually won some games this year. They're a lot better than they were last year. McCollum, Harlandale, those are two schools that, uh, you know, one of them made the playoffs last year. They're going to be battling for another playoff spot this year. That's a huge rivalry. They, they share a stadium. And then you've got Uvalde, which, you know, I think Uvalde right there is, is one of the better teams in, in this conference. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens out of that. I still think Tidy might be the favorite there. Uh, they got a lot of talent on offense and defense, and it might be a mental thing there for some of those teams. But, but obviously it's going to be a tough ride because Corey Raley is a good quarterback. Probably the best quarterback in the conference this year, at least coming into the season. Uh, it's going to be really nice to see that matchup between him and Tyvee quarterback Parks McNeil, who, you know, if he has a good game, I mean, we 
could see consistently more Parks McNeil. You never know. Colton Tucker played pretty well against Steele, so it's going to be interesting. Well, thanks for watching the Sports Buzz, and stay tuned for more videos here on www.dailytimes.com.